The bucket list. See the glaciers before they melt. Go on an African safari. Encounter the world's largest mammal. The ultimate things to do before you die. Or are they? If I was on my deathbed, there's no way I'd want to be climbing Kilimanjaro. It's not things to do a few <laughs> minutes before you die. It's things to do in your life. Easy, boys. Easy, boys. It's difficult. He was so suspicious after the last time. Uh, oh, good Jesus. We've told him that he gets to choose from the list whatever he wants to do. He's like Romeo and Juliet. But that doesn't mean that there won't be a few treats in store that he's not expecting. This is a man who's reluctant. This is a man who doesn't want to do these things. Uh, no. Just let it happen. No. It's making Carl do things that other people want to do before they die. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. This isn't his list. fucking <laughs> <laughs> Route 66, I've heard of. Mm-hmm. It's all right. Travelling along Route 66. What is it? Just driving down it, having a look? Well, it's, just, it's, a, it's a long one. It's um, two and a half thousand miles, one of America's sort of first highways. You see, uh, the thing that worries me is, is it, is it America who's made this seem like it's a good thing to do? What do you because mean? Because, well, I just think they're more excitable. When I was in Disneyland, we went some, past some fruit on a boat. Three old women getting excited about an eggplant. Woo! Whooping. Now, I sort of think, am I miserable? You've got a question? Uh, I've got an answer. Yeah, you're fucking miserable. No, no, but I think I get, I get excited at things you should get excited about. OK, what was the last thing you got excited about? Smile. Smile, just smile, just fake it. No, fake, do a smile. See, you don't, know what you, you don't know what that feels like, do you? That's odd to you. No, let's show your teeth. Yeah? Yeah. That looks weird, doesn't really it? Really weird. I've never that seen looks, it before. That looks weird. It looks weird. So, Route 66, you must have heard of that. Yeah, a car without a roof on it. Right. Driving along. Yeah. Sun sort of there. Shades. Right, there you go. Get your kicks on Route 66. Off you go. Can't argue, can I? I asked for a convertible. It's not what I had pictured. In fact, I think I've seen babies in prams bigger than this. Why do people say they want to do the Route 66 thing? Am I meant to enjoy it now whilst I'm doing it, or is it something you appreciate after? Do you know what I mean? Like a lot of things in life. I mean, in a way, even though I'm, I'm sort of eager to have fruit and I'd love to have an orange, I never really enjoy the orange. I'm always happy to get to the end when you can wash your hands. I get sick of it running down your arm. I, I, I tend to eat them in the bath. Hi, right, boy. Thought I'd arrange a little break from the road. I know you are uh, into your, your body popping and, you know, singing a little donkey and that when you're younger. So I thought you'd fit right in with the latest thing in a dance craze in America at the moment. Um, it's called Glee. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, boys, see you later. Yeah. I'm shattered, do you know what I mean? And now I've got to turn into Lionel Blair, just like that. Ha! Huh. Ha! Huh. That's it, that's it! Good, 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 good. OK, do go. Go like this. Hey! Hey! Yes, and now you see you're using your diaphragm. That's good, Carl. I think you can sing. Me, 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 me. That's so good. Me, 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 me. Me, 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 me. Done. Get the dancers in. No, I'm gone. No, no, wait, oh, I... wait. <laughs> Don't bring the sync dancers in yet. Honestly, I'd need to okay, know. Okay, okay. It's just that you know, like in two hours or so, you're going to be performing it. it... Um, you just want to do the dancing. Well, it sort of makes sense if I just do the dancing, because that's what the crowd can see. The singing, they're not going to be hearing my voice. Carl, your facial expressions, and remember... Smile. <laughs> it's going to be so much fun. 
It's not fun for everyone, is it? She was going, see, you're having fun. No, not really, no. No, I'm not. But is it just an American thing? Do they have fun better than us? The word fun annoys me. Someone says, you're coming around having some fun. No, I, uh, I'd rather not, actually. I don't want fun. It's a word I just don't use. And she goes over. Yeah, yeah. Ah! <laughs> that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. That's very good. Just... It's not my sort of thing, singing and dancing. We've got enough singers and dancers anyway in the country. Why we still have Pop Idol and X Factor? Everyone's singing. I mean, this is a school. Look at them. They're not doing English and maths. Where's the doctors? The plumbers? When I had a problem with my boiler, I had to wait two weeks because no plumbers are out. They need someone to come around and sing and dance, loads of them, but we've got enough. I haven't got a taste for it, honestly. This isn't like a big life-changing moment. Oh, Carl's finally found his destiny. I, I don't want to do this. I've never been that embarrassed. Do you know how I always say to you that you give me anxiety dreams? I panic and stuff because of the things you set up. And that time when I had a dream about being in a toilet and you opened the door and every, there was a big audience looking at me having a shit. It was exactly the same feeling I had in my dream as that. I just wanted to wake up and for it to go away. It was shocking. And the weird thing about that dream, it's not particularly sort of Freudian or <laughs> symbolic, right, as an anxiety dream. Because I often open the door when you're having a shit to annoy you. That's true, actually. So, yeah. <laughs> it's, quite, it's quite a justified dream. That's, that's normal. Have a great time, man. I'll see you soon. All right. Bucket list. What do you want to do, Carl? I want to drive down Route 66. All right, then. What are we doing? I'm keeping my hat on. I don't want to look too relaxed, because then it looks like I am up for anything. But this is saying... I'm new round here. Is there any part of you that thinks you might learn something from it? <laughs> no. I don't think there is. Touch can be very healing, and sometimes things come up we don't expect. So that means that if you are cuddling and you become aroused, that's okay. That's a beautiful thing to acknowledge, speak with your partner. You can excuse yourself and have grapes. Again, it's about using your voice <laughs> and communicating, right? <laughs> we do get questions here about erections, and they do happen from time to time. Mm -hmm. There's a level of discomfort, and what we're aiming for here is to be comfortable with that, to be able to dialogue, to be able to talk about what to do. Do, would you like to hug? You're not ready to hug me yet? No. Because I think we're getting on without it. We're fine. Can I hug you? Will you hug me? Uh, yes. <laughs> hey, Jackson. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I've, I've all, honestly, it's nothing against you. Okay. I haven't hugged uh, Valerie. You haven't hugged her? No. All right, then. Just because I didn't want to be... Pushed into. Well, I didn't know I was coming tonight. It's not yeah. like I came and I knew what was going on. I can't hug you now because then Valerie will be going, hang on a minute. Oh my God, are you making that up? Yeah, I know. Oh, Valerie you, wouldn't care. It, She'd be so happy you changed your mind. I would be happy that you said yes to what you want to say yes to and no, no to what you want to I'm say. I'm telling yes. you, it would bother you. Inside, you'd be, you'd be going, what is going oh, on? Oh, dear one. <laughs> oh, that was How long does this go on for this? <laughs> yeah. Are people paying to be here? Right, that's what it's about then. So of course she's going to say, yeah, cuddle's good for you. Of course, she's doing the sell job to us. She's not going to go, it's a load of old bollocks, this, but don't tell anyone. But 
good honour. I always think don't have a go at people for coming up with a business venture. But, you know, she went on the Dragon's Den. This wouldn't happen in England. This wouldn't, wouldn't work. But in America, they love all this shit. How would you feel if I scooted up behind you to spoon you? Would that be OK? Well, that's worse than a cuddle. That is a cuddle. That's more, that's more than a cuddle, that. What if I put my back to you and I face the other way? Well, that's all right, cos that's just cos we're all... It's crowded. Touching like that, that's just, that's just like being on a tube. But you don't touch people on the tube. You do. In London, you do. It's a nightmare in rush hour. Really? You'd love it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's enough fun for me anyway. You want to go down there? No, I'm gonna, I've got to get going because the traffic's. What? The traffic and that. What about the traffic? <laughs> Joe. Hey, how's it going? Hey, I'm Carl. Carl. Nice how are you? to meet you, man. You all right? Nice to meet you. Yeah, how are you doing? Yeah, just a bit off. You wanted to find some gold? Yeah. No, I wouldn't mind getting some from my girlfriend. She always expects a gift when I go. Oh, home. yeah, I bet. Maybe you could find something to take back to her, man. We'll go take my truck and we'll go find some gold back there. All right. I bet you're uh, interested in getting into a mine, huh? How's that sound? That sounds good. Sounds good. What the hell? Pretty good pickup, huh? Yeah. Well, you've never been up hills like these, huh? Not driving. Well, this will be an experience for you. Oh, Jesus. Oh, get out. <laughs> Slow down a bit here. Slow. Oh. Jesus. Oh. You like that, huh, Carl? Is it not another way? Fuck. It's proper mental, that. And that's his commute. Every day. This is an uh, example of the explosion that we would get, you know, to open up a new tunnel. You can uh, try to shoot this target here. Come on up here on the, this little road right here and see how good you can do on this one here, Carl. All right, everybody. Will it get a bit further back? Because this seems close to me. No, gonna... you're fine. You're fine. You sure? Oh, I'm positive. If anything comes towards you, I'll jump in front of it. Just take your time and be, be at ease. You're, you're fine. Safe distance. Is it going to be loud? No, nah, not too loud. Fucking, it was loud. Oh, I thought you were talking about the explosion. No, I meant this. Fucking oh. hell. You want an earplug? Jesus. No, yeah, I just need a... Have you got another one? This for a coconut. Ah, uh, a little bit... A few inches too high. Rack too high, that was in. too high. Fast, aim fast. Aim it on there and do it. Breathe, breathe, do it. <laughs> oh, you know. There you go, Carl, you got it. That's hot. Yeah, that's hot. Did you like that, Carl? It's a good feeling, isn't it? Yeah, it's a good stress release. So I used to play on these all the time, at the fair, you know, where you had to Hit a dartboard. It's like a bit of paper in the middle and a star on it. He used to always win coconuts. I don't you know why it was always coconut. coconut. No, not at all. It was useless. Don't know why they always. That's the only time you see him, innit? You can't see him in supermarkets and stuff. You need a coconut. You got to go to the fair. We'll let you light one this time. We ought to stick it in that crack right there and see if we can blow that whole mountain up, huh? Is he serious? Blowing that up. Oh. Carl! Get behind me. How long do you reckon? Oh, any, any second now. Say ten seconds. Count down, Carl. Ten, nine, eight. Oh, fuck. Ah, uh, you only got to what? To eight, huh? 
Do you feel the, the compression through the air? Sucks your ears. Yeah, it kind of kind of relaxing though, isn't it, to do that? Not really. No. No, no. Is that your idea of fun round there? Uh, it used to be, but I got blown up a while back. Seriously? Yeah, seriously. I like the way you tell me that now. Yeah. Go on back back there, Carl. That way we can find some good pieces of ore. I don't. Is it worth going further down? Well, you don't know till you get there. Never wanted to work down a pit. You just don't want to scream or yell. Just keep watching for snakes. What about spiders? Oh, spiders. There's spiders anywhere. I can't be doing Like cave spiders? How big are they? What's that there? There's a bat. <laughs> you stupid bastard! Don't do that! What'd you call me? <laughs> kind of felt safe with him. It's like, even if it did all cave in, I reckon he'd be able to get me out. It was like having Desperate down with me. One hand right here. Yeah. One hand right here. Yeah. Kind of tilt it down. You want to shake it like this. Went looking for gold. Didn't find any. Now you take it. So it's, it's not looking good for Suzanne's present. That's what I was relying on, really. Yeah. I'm after something bigger, though. I oh love yeah. Something like that. Yeah, me too. I love. I like Joe though. He had his vest on. Size of my ready for action. Three guns, a rifle. We're only having a barbecue. Stop moaning about the little car I got you now. So I've got you something bigger. All right. Always trying to please. If you're happy. I'm happy. All right. See you later. You Ronnie? All right, Ronnie. Fucking thing. It's embarrassing. <laughs> Happens every time. Neat, Ronnie. Do we get to park a tire on this thing? Hard looking bloke. Like this? Yeah. You know, he had nice. tattoos on his legs. For me, that's yeah. when you know someone's hard. Not, not the poncy ones either, not like Latin and all that, or, uh, you know, that sort of Robbie Williams style thing. Just like this. Is that the only way in? Only way in. Doesn't use aftershave, smells of like WD-40. <laughs> Fucking hell! <laughs> Fucking hell. Wanna go try this now? No, forget it. No? No. You don't want it, you, you don't want to go for a ride? No, not, huh? not, not, with, not without a proper seat, Jamie. Jamie, there isn't even a proper seat. I can't get in this. <laughs> Ronnie! Can you hear me, Ronnie? Ronnie! 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 Stop! Ronnie! Ronnie! Hey! Stop! 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 Ronnie! Right, that's fine. Want to try it again? No, no, you're all right, Ronnie. <laughs> it's not, I mean, look at the size of it. Oh, yeah, it's only room for one man in it. It makes no sense. It's not a monster truck, it's just monster wheels. It's big wheels. It's, and that doesn't add anything to a car. I don't buy a car on the size of the wheels. It had a monster glove compartment, that's more useful. Look at look at mine compared to that. Can Hello. I... Hi, I'm Carl. Carl, nice to meet you. Nice to see you. Yeah. How are you doing today? You well? Good. Good. How about you? Yeah, not bad. It's just a little bit warm. Yeah, yeah, it's a little warm. Burning my head. And that's my dad, Laverne. Hello, Laverne. How, How are you I'm doing Carl. there? I'm... Now, come on yeah. out, girls. Ooh. You were hoping to go inside, <laughs> I bet. <laughs> yeah, to get out of this. It's roasting. <laughs> Do you have suntan lotion? What's that? Suntan lotion. A hat? If you've got a hat, I'm happy to wear a hat or lotion, whatever's easiest. That's it. That's great. OK? okay. All right. <laughs> Thank you. All right. You want to give us a hand? Yeah, yeah, I'm happy to you do You want to remove your shoes, go barefoot and get a treatment? Go barefoot. Oh, I don't grow anything at home. And you get all your produce from someone else. Yeah. Yeah. Get it delivered. Yeah. You just go on the uh, on the computer, tick boxes, six eggs, bread, beans, and they just deliver it to your house. Oh, really? Yeah. I'd, I'd say the kids are the biggest difference. His kids seem a lot different than the kids you see at home. 
they seem like kids. Uh, kids that age at home, they're pushing the pram with a fag on. Everything's in a rush now, isn't it, at home? Everyone wants to be an adult, and they want to skip being a kid. Is that, I love being a kid. I loved it. Best years of my life, playing out on my bike. What about relaxing? Do you know, like, a, you see, I, I don't read that much, so it's hard to think, but say, like, a James Bond, say, Doctor No, or something like that, would you ever read something like that, or can't you relate to it? Like a, like a what? James Bond? James Bond. Like you a... Heard of James Bond? Seriously? Seriously, I, I'm not, no. uh, uh... Is it kind of a mystery? No, he's, a, he's like a British agent. He's a, you know, undercover. He solves crime and he's been around for ages. Come on in. Let's have a look. Get out of the, get out of the sun. A little bit cooler oh, down that's here. That's nice to know, though, isn't it? Good news, Polly. Hey, you want to take a can with you? Um, I know, I just was thinking about my girlfriend, because she always expects a present when I've been away. Oh, sure. Oh, okay. I'm thinking peas, peas are fine. How about... Uh, she's not going to like these because she's... She's not that fussy no. with peas. Honestly, they're like garden peas. Yeah, they are, but they're, they're not... They're kind of mushy. She likes mushy they peas. Pe <laughs> OK. Mushy peas, that's the thing we have in England, mushy peas, okay. with fish and chips. That is fine and it's a good size. Is that OK? Sure, that's okay. sure, yeah, that's OK. Just... It's kind of like... You've got to admire them, haven't you? Really happy with the most simplest of things. I had to sort of, you know, be chuffed about some peas. And I know Suzanne, she probably won't be happy with that. She'll have her face on. Because she knows I was going in a gold mine, didn't she? She'll be thinking she's getting a new necklace when I go home. She's not going to be happy. But I'll say, listen, stop your whinging. The Amish don't moan about it. And But whilst you're at it, get in the garden. Sort stuff out. Get off your arse. That's the thing here. They, they do graft hard, don't they? And have you noticed? I've seen a few Amish knocking about. None of them are fat. Because they're all out and about doing stuff. They're out in the open air. They're not eating crap. They're growing their own stuff. I mean, they've got it right. It's just the beard that's daft. I don't think I could pull off a beard quite like you, though. What's that? I don't think I could suit a beard. Nice guy. Come on, boy. Climbing Mount Everest, people dream of doing that. Not doing that. What about climbing Mount Fuji in Japan? If, if it's made for tourists, I'm guessing it's not that... It wasn't made. No, it wasn't I mean, made. a lot of people... If a, a lot of, it's like Kilimanjaro. Right. A lot of people used to say that's big and what have you, but now everyone does it. As long as it's not like that. Mm. I nearly died once on a, on a hill like that. Cos I started running. Going downwards. I couldn't stop, I kept chucking myself on my arse and I kept bouncing back up. <laughs> the wall. It's not funny, I nearly went into chips, like through a bottom of a slate wall. Into chips? Yeah, like smashing through a slate wall, it would have just cut me up into like, you know, that sort of chip, chip shape. What do you mean? Why would you have been made into chips? Because there was no cement in it, it's just a, like a man-made slate. We were up there, oh, I was getting mean... slate with my dad. Right. So you were, you were thieving? No, it's natural. 
Right. You can't nick off nature, can you? So you were running down a hill with slate in your pockets and in your No, hand. just in your hand. Right. I had hold of it like that, going down the hill, started to pick up a bit of speed. Yeah. And before you know it, my dad's going like, don't drop it, I'm going, I'm not... Uh, and the weight of your it... Your dad said, don't drop it. Yeah, I'd rather you were made into chips <laughs> than to drop any of this precious natural slate. Yeah. And my dad's mate, Sid, had to jump and sort of grab me round the legs. Cut all my face and everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is going to be a doddle to you. Yeah. A cat cafe. <laughs> You pay to come and pet your cats. How much? <laughs> Fifteen quid. Fifteen pounds? Just drop a cat. Right, there you go. Time starts now, I guess. All right, boy. What are you up to? Just in a little coffee. Some cats. The cats? Yeah, it's a cat cafe. If you want a coffee and a cat, you come in. All right. That's nice. Not really. Fifteen quid it is. For half an hour. Yeah, They're not even friendly. Good for you, isn't it? Stroke a car, it brings down your blood pressure. It's good for anxiety. You're always sort of stressed and moping around. That just chills you out. No, but this isn't helping. They're not even being friendly. They're not coming near me. Your cat's friendlier, and you know how much that cat does me head in. I'd love to see your Sorry. cat in here, you know. It would get battered the way you spoil it. <laughs> Honestly, it'd be like a posh kid going to a rough school. Looks like it shit itself, doesn't it? Maybe it has. I don't know how human it is. Kills you down. That's going to give you a headache, not get rid of one. How complicated it is just for a toilet. Yeah, you have the, the skill of Bill Gates. Just have a shit. It's a crisp picker upper. If you want some crisp, but you don't want to get crisps on your hands, you use a crisp picker upper. How do you turn it off? Shit. I thought of all the things I need a robot to do, is to fix stuff. In the 80s, that's what they were for, weren't they? They were in car factories, putting cars together. It's not doing that. It's piss arsing about. I'm going to dance on a stage. We've got enough dancers. I think that's the problem. It's got so advanced, it's going, I don't want to do work anymore. You can't do any of that. You can't do that stuff. But it's a robot. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Listen, what I've, what I've been thinking about is I want to invent something. I want to leave something behind after I'm dead. So that's what I'm going to right. do. That's, well, that's my plan whilst I'm here. OK. I mean, this might be a long process and might not be very interesting for television. You sitting in a room, thinking, uh, what, what thoughts have you had? Okay. Just something useful. I come up with ideas all the time. I'm always saying to you or Suzanne, listen, here's an idea. I'm coming up with stuff all the time. That's why I think this is my strength that hasn't been used yet. Yeah. I'm st where I'm stood at the moment, they've got a plasma in the garden. This is what it's like in, in Japan. It's really advanced. And I reckon I can come up with something better than that. So leave it with me. Leave it with me. All right, well, don't be pissing around, wasting too much time on that. Um, you're there to see Mount Fuji, so get yourself on the bullet train, all right? I'll talk to you later. See you later. Ta -da. I'm not going to come up with anything that's going to change the world, am I? I just want to come up with something that's useful. It's like 
like these. I found these in the shop. Basically, mops that you stick on a baby's feet and they mop up. Because let's face it, for the first three years of a baby's life, it's all take, 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 and they don't do anything. Keep you awake at night, keep shitting themselves, cause arguments between, you know, in relationships. They're a pain in the arse. But if you can get the baby helping out around the house, it's one less stress, isn't it? So these little mops, stick them on the baby's feet. They like to walk, they run around all the time, don't they? They're not going anywhere with it. They're not doing favours, they can't go out on errands. But they can mop the kitchen floor. Pao, traditional Japanese sushi. Mm. I've been eating a lot of fish whilst I've been here. I'm not a fan. Maybe you, you can enjoy. It's very expensive, very rich. I, I think rich taste. Rich? Mm. Full of, how do you say, full why, flavor. Why has it got a lid on it? Is it alive? No. <laughs> how often do you eat that? Actually, I have eaten once. Once it's, in your life? Yes. All right. Do you, would you like side. some first? No, no, I, no, I, no, I eat can, always. Yeah. I, but, always I eat, so. But I've learned in Japan uh -huh. all about etiquette okay. and not to be rude, polite. Yeah? So I would like you. No, no, no. Honestly, <laughs> no, no, come on, let's play say, by the... If, if we're in Japan... That, I say, you are guest in this town. That's so right, and I'm welcoming I'm you. I'm host, so guests should eat fast. Right. Stinks, doesn't it? No. He does. No. What do you mean? No. He does. No. He does. It's a good smell. That's not a bad smell. No. It's very expensive. It's a lovely box. Yeah. I'm not moaning about the delivery. The tray is lovely. Yeah. The nice little sick bowls yeah. it comes with. Yeah. Beautiful. But that mm -hmm. should be on there, mm -hmm. should be nailed shut yeah. and buried. Mm. I can't eat that, Jamie. I think it's off. It's like a delicacy. It's been fermented for three years. <laughs> Good flavour. There's something in the middle of it. I, I can't eat it, Jamie. I don't know if it's rude or not. <laughs> I don't know how they're getting away with it. It's not a meal. It's, it's, it's more like a challenge, that. <laughs> me, me taste buds had just been mugged. That's what had gone on there. <coughs> Sausage, egg and chips. I'm happy with that. Sausage, beans, potato cake. That's something Suzanne normally knocks up for me when I've been away. Something to welcome you back. If I have fish, fish fingers, battered cod. I've had pollock recently. Is it pollock? Yeah. I've had that because I didn't have any cod in the chippy. <coughs> Do you know I wanted to come up with an invention whilst I was there? Uh, I came up with one. Do you know the thing you put on your neck when you're on long flights? I've used that. That isn't how the finished thing would look when I, when I make it. But just to give you an idea, I've sewn that in. And whenever you sit down, you've got a cushion. Say like this rock, it's freezing. If I lay back on that with just pants on, get a cold ass. That's how you get hemorrhoids. But with this, just lean back. And as well as no cold, great comfort. And I can enjoy that. It's good, isn't it? Have you got a name for it? Pilco pant. 
Pilco pants. I mean, I know it's not going to change the world, but neither did the egg cup. Neither did Soda Stream. It's just another little invention. You are not going to be eaten by a polar bear. But when you had your medical, I found out that you didn't let them test your prostate. Did you? No. No. But that's, that's... Why not? In the UK alone, more people die every year from prostate cancer than being savaged by a polar bear. It's a bit of a weird time to bring it up when I'm in the middle of nowhere. It's one of the biggest killers, right? And, and that's just a simple test. So a doctor pops his finger up your anus and he goes, yep, you're all clear, and that's you relax for another year. I, I, I don't understand why you're suddenly caring about this now. I've got little battery left on this phone. I'm wearing the battery out. If right. something happens, I'm dead. Right. He's my best mate. Sue me. I'm worried about him. Yeah, yeah. No, but why isn't it ever anything about how's your blood pressure? Or how are your feet? You're in the cold. Are you warm enough? Are you... No, because... it was none of that. It was, yes, I know. why don't you get a finger up your ass? Because often there are no symptoms. Well, I don't want it done. I know you don't, but it's good for you. So, um, can we bring the doctor out, please? Right, well, this is a waste of time, then. This is Frank. Um, this is Carl. Frank, how's it going? You all right? Good, good to see you. Is the uh, consultant urologist at um, St Bart's? Yeah, St that... Bart's. Yeah. yeah. The thing about uh, prostate cancer is you can be perfectly well and yet still have uh, prostate cancer. And one of the ways that we can detect if that may be a problem is a rectal examination. The thing with them um, just uh, feeding... I don't them. want a finger up the arse, no, though. Wait, you keep wait. going on about this. Right. I've told you time and time again. I'm going to presume That's... there's a lot of ill people knocking around that Frank should be looking at. Instead, he's here debating with you two whether he's going to shove his finger up the arse. How long will it take if you did it now? If you went... No, wait, how long will it... 15 seconds. 15, 15 seconds. That's a long time, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. What are you looking for? <laughs> what we're looking for, OK, it's two things we're looking for. One is the size of the prostate gland. <laughs> Number two, it's the consistency of it. In other words, what it, what it feels like. It's a, it's a quick, simple thing to do. Carl, can I tell you what's going to happen? It's going to be about 10 seconds. He's going to say, you're all clear. You're going to say, what was the fuss about? And you know you haven't got prostate cancer. But not, not today. There's no better time. Cause maybe, it can... maybe it's that you and I and the cameras and that are making it a bit intense. Oh, we've maybe got if a private they privately to we've another room. Private room. It. We've got a private room. Right, you wait here, then. You stay here. I don't yeah, want to stay wait, wait here. Frank, do you want to follow Carl? Can you um, show Frank and Carl to a private room? Thanks. You may as well check his testicles while you're there. <laughs> so what's, what's, the, what's the rules here? What's, I mean, I know it's important things to have done. Yeah. But it's just the way they go about it. Mm. I've been travelling around the world in dangerous places. They've never cared about me before. Mm. Yet today, they keep going on about having this done. Men are embarrassed about these things, you know? We're not used to these things. But for the sake of something that really is very quick and, and painless, we're talking about potentially saving a life. And before you know it, it's done and it's over. I know, but it's just... I don't... Yeah. <laughs> it's day in, day out. That's what you do, seriously, yeah. every day? Yeah. Every day of my working life, that's what I do. And are you going to move up and do, get to do something better, or is this your future now? Just sticking your finger it's, up a pilot's arse. It's part of my. It's just part of the job, you know. A lot of time I spend in, in operating. A lot of time I spend in clinics. So how many people are you doing a day? Ten to twenty, maybe. And which finger is it? Is it a big one or a little one? It's the index finger. Why is that? Why not just a little? Because the, the prostate lines a little bit, a little bit in. If you want to get your hand, you couldn't. You, you just couldn't do that with your little finger. So you go in round the corner, you've got to go in and round. You've got to go in and then a sl <laughs> slight, slight twist. It's, it's the thought is worse than the actual delivery, let, let's put it that way. It's the thought of it. All right. And okay. I, I, let's, yeah, let's do it then. Come on. Do, it. do you wear gloves? Oh, that's right, yes. Do you know Richard Blackwood? Yes, the uh, comedian, yes. Yeah, he had, he had a, a colonic on telly, yeah. never seen again. <laughs> <laughs> That's far worse. So, rest your foot, you know. Then, what you need to do is you need to bend your knees up. Yeah. I'm going to pop that arm over there. <laughs> so, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to get some lubricating gel. I'll we'll just. <laughs> right, so what I'm going to do is, uh, if I may, I'm just going to pop, yeah. pop, pop your trousers down. Bend your knees up a bit more. Come towards me a bit more. So, you're at the edge of the couch, marvellous, okay? 
take a deep breath, deep breath, and out, okay, and relax, breathe normally. Pop a finger in there, okay. Deep breath, well done. Jesus, well done. that's high up. <laughs> Fucking hell. Right, that's surely enough, isn't it? Right, you're touching a lung. Well done. <laughs> Your prostate's fine. Have Yay! Oh, God. Well done. Brilliant. I don't think it's the sort of thing people pay us. Got a subscription for, to be honest. <laughs> In HD. <laughs> well done. Cheers for that, then, Frank. Now, you are a doctor, are you? <laughs> yeah. Google me. You represent the men who will never have it done, some of which will die of prostate cancer. Genuinely. I haven't quite got over it, and my heart's pounding still because it doesn't know what's gone on. My body's gone, what just happened then? No one's ever been that high up. Well, what superpower would you like then? I came up with one. I'd be bullshit, man. There's so many meetings going on where you know people are bullshitting. I just like to walk in, I wouldn't need a special costume, just dress like this. And I'd fly in, I'd go bullshit. You're talking bullshit, and they go, oh, it's bullshit, man. And I go, well, yeah, I, it is bullshit, man. You're talking bullshit. And eventually, people would stop talking shit. D that could take off. I quite like... I mean, I know you said you didn't want a costume, but if I could get a little costume for you, what colour would it be? I don't need a costume. No, but you don't need it, but if I got one for you, what would it have? No, I don't need all that, cos that's just wasting time. That's more bullshit. How do we know you're bullshit? How do we know you're bullshit, man? Because I flew in. Well, well, you, you so you can fly. fly. So your superpower is saying bullshit, but you can <laughs> also fly. Yeah, but but also people know if I've said it's bullshit, they know they were talking bullshit. Yeah, yeah, but but wait. That's my superpower. Wait, no, 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 no. Your superpower is surely flying as well. You didn't. Yeah. You didn't. We could all say bullshit. No, no. Yeah. The flying is necessary because of the amount of bullshit that's going but on. But if in you the could world. fly. But if I can't fly, how am I going to get a? There's loads of bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do? Keep jumping in a cab? No way. I'm going to be busy all day. <laughs> I haven't invented this. It's not my fault you can or can't fly. No. Calm down. I know, but I'm saying if it was my superpower, I'd want to fly in. Yes, my point... And I don't want a costume because I'd be constantly wearing that costume no. because of the amount of bullshit that's being said. Yes, I understand that. So, you, so your point is this. Everyone can tell bullshit, but you need to fly to get there quick and get it out Just in the open. Can it quick? Yeah. Can someone starts spouting How the can bullshit? you hear them? So you you're can look super, super hearing, hearing as, well. as well. Yeah. So you can... Hold on, so wait a minute, right. Can you see... Can you see where they are? Or can you just... I'm just pick... hearing it. So if there was a meeting, right, going on in Leeds now, and there was a bloke going, well, if you invest in this company, if you give me one million, I can guarantee you, you will make an extra million right. by the year. I will double... I will... <laughs> double. I, hear you. I, hear I will you. double your investment in one... <laughs> what? Bullshit! <laughs> That's how it would work. <laughs> you can see how... Uh, I know, because, honestly, that's years and years of people spouting it. Yeah. Meetings, ever since being neck-eye. Mm. It's like, that's, that's all you ever hear. OK, but in how would you... Programs, in so X you... Factor, honestly, X Factor would keep me busy. OK, it's yeah. Just the amount of shite yeah. that is being told to people in that, and uh, all that crying, that'd be the next one, I don't know what I'd call it. That thing when girls do that now, I don't know where that's come from. <laughs> when they're getting a tear coming on, they go like that. I want to fly in. Fucking stop doing that. I just say that wild animals should never be kept as pets. You can't suddenly start keeping wild animals in council houses in case you pop round for a biscuit and want to see one. <laughs> I'm just saying that, for me, I'll never forget it. It's a surreal moment. You, you've seen hippos out in the wild. It's boring. boring. I've, I've seen hippos in their natural habitat. Boring. What, what chair are you sitting in? How Wait, good would the carpet? it be, though? Where's the carpet, you faggot? <laughs> so you're telling me you'd rather queue up at the zoo to see some animal sat like that on a rock looking fed up than walking into a house not knowing what's in there, going, oh, what's in here? Wandering in, oh, that nice plasma you've got. Oh, nice sofa. There's a gorilla in the corner. <laughs> Honestly, taking an animal like that and seeing it in normal surroundings, <laughs> it makes it even weirder. It's amazing. I'll never forget it. I'll forget a lot of the other things. But the hippo in the house was the highlight Hippo for you. in the house was brilliant. That and the volcano, they're the highlights of the whole yep. thing. Fucking hell.
Why was the volcano so amazing? Just because it's madness, it's dangerous. You stood on the edge of it. It makes you realise that the world is alive. We're saying they're the closest thing to human. So what's wrong in having them in your house? That's a very human thing to do. Treat them like a human if they're very close to being human. Come on in. Sit down. All right. Of course I don't agree with them dying. There's people who kill them just for their hands so they can have an ashtray mm. of a gorilla hand. How it doesn't even work. Well, it doesn't work. That right. doesn't even work as an ashtray. Right. The ash is going to roll through its fingers. It's a bit chavvy as well as a design. Mm. I, my furniture wouldn't work with that. Nothing to do with is it nasty and all that. It's a horrible thing. You mean if it was a fake one made of... I'm just saying a hand. <laughs> Forget it's a gorilla. A human hand. If it was a piece of art, a ceramic... It doesn't work. No, it's the cruelty that I find yes, but disgusting. it doesn't work. Not the design. It's a yeah. beautiful design, a gorilla hand. Work. When it's attached to its fucking arm. But a hand there, look, yeah. it doesn't work properly, does it? Yes, Why we're not talking about whether it? it works. We're talking well, about how vile and disgusting it is. It is. Yeah. But think about it. If there's anyone out there who is vile and disgusting, it doesn't work. As a, as a thing on a table, if you're putting your fag on it... Mm -mm. Go like that, the ash rolls through the fingers. No, no, it's perfectly it doesn't fingers. work. That's the message that should be out there. Don't have a gorilla hand, not because it's cruel and that, which it is, but it doesn't work. <laughs> Double pronged message. If his head was there, cut its head off, you can put fruit in it. That works. <laughs> That's cruel, but I'm just saying it doesn't work. <laughs>